you are, you know what I mean? Um, but to me, where I find it problematic is when white Jews try to use that term anti-Semitism to ward off any type of critical and analyst of white Jewish culture, when Zionist culture is very oppressive to dark-skinned Jews, right? Um, you may not know, but there's a very common practice for black Jewish people from Ethiopia who are the original Jews, they're forced to be recircumcised. You may not know that, but it's the truth. Well, so, that's why to me, when I hear the term anti-Semitism, especially coming from the white mouth, I, I, I vehemently disagree with that. Because a lot of anti-Semitic practices within the Jewish culture is exercised on people who are black skin. Yeah. Yeah, and then a lot of, there's a lot of um, Jewish people who are oppressing Palestinians. So, right, that, that's a whole other conversation within itself. Yeah. And, and, and I think more to me to clearly delineate between those who are oppressing the Palestinians and those who are just Jewish people the Zionist state is oppressing the Palestinians yeah. not all Jewish people, the state of Zionism and the nation of Israel is oppressive to Zionist people, not Jews so it's a difference So essentially, uh, President Covino, who are currently in their office now um, protesting, allowed a, uh, what I would call a white supremacist by all means, to come on the campus and spread the message of when diversity becomes a problem on a campus full of diverse people. Not only was the message problematic, there were students on campus who received death threats from people who support his message. So not only is he spreading a message of hate, he's creating an unsafe environment for the students on the campus. So um, in all all of our energy and all of our efforts, we were able to, you know, protest and prevent that expression of hatefulness to take place. So now, to continue that message and make sure that we address that at the institutional level, we're in the office of the president and, you know, call him to task for his support of this racist message. My They're meeting with us right now. They're just not. They're just camping. They're just camping. All right, tell them. You know, there's like, I don't know, 100 or so students out here. And, and another 2,000 downstairs. <laughs> the trash that's at the University Student Union, they're creating a narrative that their lives are being threatened. But I'm sorry, I was, oh, you know, me. I was pushed by two of his supporters. I was hit upside the head. The police were right there and did absolutely nothing. What? Nothing at all. What? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, their lives are being threatened. I'm sorry, but you could have yeah. gave me a concussion. And I was ready to drag her, but I'm not going to be violent because that's the narrative they already have. Yeah. So. And I think that it's important to yeah. know that this wouldn't be happening if that guy had a pair of cojones and said no to having a racist on our campus. It's just that simple. Y'all read the email. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. There is no room for hatred. Exactly. Exactly. And you're to come to East 
to stay in the middle. Yeah, that was cool. That was great. Yeah. What do you want to say? Yeah. Diversity is a problem. That's what he said. detrimental that's that that was the tenor of his of his uh, feelings about black lives matter that's what they said in germany in the 1920s this is exactly it and okay. that's what i'm saying exactly. how do you have a name like shapiro and don't get it when you, when you let, when you let people i don't understand how the violence follows <laughs> But he said, say that again. When you let uh, hatred uh, in, yes. reactionary yes. violence yes. follows. Right. Along with fascism and the whole, that whole package. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> in Germany, they stood up for it immediately. Right. That yeah. stuff wouldn't have been able to go ahead. And oh, wait a minute. Is this him? <laughs> Wish you all the best of luck with some of the that we're facing on our campus today and for any future days that may come. Hey, Amanda. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 
for the students. Exactly. Well, obviously, that's not a good example. That went out the Oh, yeah, you could come. 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 Oh,